I was talking about okay, what's going on. I need help on. from like a medical professional or any other diabetics who might know the answer to this. So I have type 1 diabetes and everybody knows insulin is freaking expensive in the U.S. and it's just really difficult to get because not only do you have to pay for the insulin, but you also have to pay for a doctor to write you a prescription. And a lot of people have been recommending that I try the Rely On insulin from Walmart. It's apparently $25 and you don't need a prescription. It's like over-the-counter insulin. But I have tried to do my research and I have heard so many scary horror stories about this type of insulin. Like, apparently it's an older insulin that diabetics don't really use anymore. And I guess in the 90s, a ton of type 1 diabetics passed away in their sleep because this insulin does not work like normal insulin does. I just don't know too much about this insulin, and my question is if anybody has used this rely on, I think it's called r -Novalin. I think that's what it's called. If anybody has used this insulin, how does it work? How does it compare to regular Humalog insulin? Like basically, how do I use it? Hey, I'm Ethan. I'm a pharmacist and also a certified diabetes outpatient educator. I'll explain how the Walmart insulins work. The Walmart sells three types of insulin under their Rely On brand. It's Novolin R, Novolin N, and Novolin 7030. Before we get into that, let's go over the different types of insulin. So you have your rapid acting, which is like your Humalog, Novolog. That usually starts within five to 10 minutes. Then you have short acting, which is your regular insulin. So Novolin R, which works in 30 minutes to one hour. Then intermediate acting. So this is going to be the Novolin N or insulin NPH. And this starts working in one to three hours. Then your longer acting, which like you know as like maybe like Lantus, Traceba, that usually works within one to two hours. Well, R is going to be our short acting insulin. Starts working within 30 minutes and the greatest blood lowering effects are seen usually between two to four hours. But the main thing is this does not work immediately and you need to take it 30 minutes before a meal. So it takes a while for it to start working. Then we have our intermediate acting, which is Novel and N. It starts working within one to two hours. And usually the greatest blood lowering effects are seen between four to 12 hours. But the main difference between like your basal insulin is that it has a high peak meaning that it can lower your blood sugar more aggressively. This means you really want to try to plan your meals and snacks so that you avoid any lows. Because with your long-acting insulins, they don't really have that high peak, so you're not going to see as much as like that big drop. And that's why the longer acting ones are usually preferred, especially like overnight. And then we have Novolin 730, which is a pre-mixed insulin. So it's 70% NPH, which is the intermediate acting, and 30% regular insulin, which is the short acting. But so it's kind of like getting a two for one dose. Regular insulin covers your meals and the NPH acts as your basal insulin. While the dosing may seem convenient, it does give you less flexibility when it comes to scheduling your meals. Because usually you're gonna be doing this twice a day and you need to make sure that you have your meals like separated by like 12 hours. If you consider using these, I highly recommend if possible at least trying to get a prescription for like a CGM for example like a Freestyle Libre. Since this is a new insulin for you it's going to make sure that you're dosing things correctly and you know if you're giving too much or too little and also how meals are affecting your blood sugar. But at $25 per vial no prescription needed I think in like most states this definitely is a lot easier for people who are having trouble with getting insulin. I will say that this is like a not a direct like one-to-one -one substitute at all from what you're taking. Ideally you should really be seeing an endocrinologist or at least a primary care doctor or if you're a retail pharmacist is willing to help you with that because depending on the dose that you're currently on on other insulin there are going to be adjustments 